Picks. This is Joe from ToughPicks.com, and we've got another Conversations with Muppet Friends video for you today. Our guest today is a friend of mine named Susie Dahl, and that is kind of her behind that Miss Piggy. You want to say hi, Susie? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. So, Susie, you and I have met a, just a few times and kind of in passing um, at New York Comic Con. And I've the behemoth that is New York Comic Con. Yes. Exactly. Oh my God, it's <laughs> insane there. And I'm always on the lookout for people wearing Muppet-related costumes. And I've spotted you <laughs> because you have an incredible <laughs> Miss Piggy costume. Thank you, thank you. It's definitely been a labor of love that I've seen over the years, and now I'm at a point where I'm like, Miss Piggy herself, I think would be pleased. So I think she would 100% be stuff. pleased. Yeah, I, it's it's one of it's one of the best I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that because you're sitting right in front of me, but like oh, it's genuinely like an I incredible costume. Um, so I have a lot of Thank questions you. about that, about like being being a Muppet yeah. cosplayer. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to ask because we're, we're doing this series kind of like in promotion of the Muppet Show on Disney Plus. Um, have you gotten into yeah. it? Have you watched much of it yet? I've been still plugging away at season one. And for me, it's so funny looking back at where the series began and seeing how far Jim had come and, you know, his whole cast of characters really evolving over the years. Because some of those Muppets, bless their hearts, they were a little busted that first season. But <laughs> <laughs> they, were. <laughs> they were a little busted. But it was nice to see like how he evolved as far as his talent and design goes and how his team really helped mold that. Um, I was actually talking to my best friend. I was looking at Gonzo. I'm like, Gonzo was gross. Like yeah. Gonzo was legit gross. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of just like like a like an annoying lump a little bit. And I love him. I love him yes. for being that annoying lump. But like, love Gonzo, yeah. love him. But I was like, ooh. And then even Piggy, I was like, okay, she was a little plain that first season. But fun for me to just look at the different design details as the and they evolved. But I think part of me does want to kind of eventually do that season one Piggy out with the white halter top and then her loose sash. I was going to give some inspiration there. But again, it's just so fun overall. And also, it's been fun to see what Muppets stayed throughout all of uh, Jim's other creations. You know, certain, you know, like Wanda, I think uh, we mentioned that, you know, Wanda kind of disappeared after a while after that first season. And the janitor actually changed after the first season. So it's been just a fun look. Easter egg and also the jokes when you're when watching it when you're a kid you don't realize how adult the jokes are <laughs> right. and then you get older and you're like wait a minute <laughs> yeah wait a minute <laughs> yeah works on a lot of different levels so it's been a, it's been a trip <laughs> yeah yes. I love it so, okay so you're starting you're starting at the beginning you're going all the way all the way through um is there like a specific episode that you're really looking forward to getting to I we are, I saw the Lena Horn episode, which mm -hmm. I loved, and I'm looking forward to getting to the Raquel Welsh episode. Oh, so I'm like, I just need all the glamour, all of the goodness. Yep. So I'm inching my way. Oh, and Carol Burnett. I need to get to that. I'm almost to the Carol Burnett episode. Terrific. All good ones. Uh, I'm very excited <laughs> for you. Um, yes. <laughs> so uh, is, uh, it's, would you say like Miss Piggy is your favorite character or, or the one that you relate to the most? Yes and yes. <laughs> She's Great. my favorite character. I, re I, I relate to her the most. Um, I feel like my initial exposure to the Muppets, aside from Smee Street, was Muppet Babies when I was little. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I grav it's the gravitated toward like this little sassy nugget, just like bossing all the other kids around, but being just over, over the moon about Kermit. And I was like, I feel like you know, we. I was like, I'm here with you, sister. Like, I feel you. I feel your vibe. So, growing up, being a plus size girl, I didn't. There weren't many icons of you know girls that were like, just like I am me. I'm unapologetic. You know, if you're not into this, then there's something wrong with you. You know, 
there was no Lizzo when I was growing up. So for me, there was Miss Piggy. So, you know, just feeling her and kind of wanting to channel her and all of the glamour, all the fabulousness and that just that attitude. But, you know, she, you know, she has a soft spot for certain people, mainly Kermit. So being able to kind of hear both sides of the fence, being strong, but also being soft at the same time. And, you know, just the glamour, like just all the glamour and glamour and attitude. That's what Miss Piggy is to me. So that's she my is. girl. <laughs> Absolutely. No, you nailed it. On the, you nailed it on the head. Uh, all right, so let's talk a little bit about your costume. So you, uh, we're, we'll show some photos um, on the video. I'll, I'll paste them in. Uh, but uh, so your costume, first of all, like we'll start with the face because you you got this great looking snout and you kind of somehow melded it into your face to make it look real. Like, can you explain a little bit how you did that? Definitely. So it actually, when I first did the piggy costume, um, I found just like a generic, Pig nose attached it. It wasn't the best prosthetic, so it didn't fully give the illusion. And also I painted, I was too pink, so that was like my trial run. It was it was all bad, but y'all gotta start somewhere. But the following year when I did it again, I actually just did some more research and I actually found this company based in Canada called North Fur R at um Epic. And they had a pig nose. And the way they built it, it actually was extended a little bit so you can cover up the mouth, air, uh, my top lip. And I was like, okay, let me give this a try. And it actually, since then, that was maybe 2015, 2016. And since then, that they've been my go-to for that perfect pig snout. Like, it is so amazing. And so I get that and I actually attach it with spirit. I'm um, not sorry. Prosade. I did spirit gum once, but I like the prosade a little better. It's a little easier on my skin. It's not as irritating. So just put a nice little layer of prosade on. And I actually do that before I paint my full face. So I want to make sure everything's attached before I start the full, that full paint job. Because that is layers and layers and layers <laughs> of face paint. So get that down first. I'm a makeup artist as well. So with the beauty part of the makeup, I kind of approach it the way I would in any other makeup application. But that, you know, it's been a delicate balance trying to make sure I get the, you know, the paint layers right, make sure I'm the right color that Piggy is. And that's always kind of trippy as far as making that transformation come along because I am a little black girl. Uh <laughs> So just making sure I'm able to get everything as authentic to Piggy as possible. But it's so much fun. But, like, but it usually, I would say, especially for New York Comic Con, I want to say from like top to bottom, the makeup maybe about two hours. Wow. Only because I'm such a perfectionist that I want to make sure every... Yeah, it's, it's hefty, but I just want to make sure... Also, each layer dries down because I want to make sure that nothing's patchy, everything is situated. Wow, that's incredible. Um, so <laughs> is, it, is it difficult for you, like, as, as a woman of color to actually paint your, your face pink? Because, um, I mean, that I can't imagine that's, like, an easy thing to look, to look yourself in the mirror and see that your skin color is, is changed. It's wild. Like, it's really wild. I looked at a video clip I had taken maybe a couple comic cons ago the other day. And I was like, this is trippy for me. And I'm the one doing it. Like, it's so wild. And, um, you know, especially when you work doing animals and kind of fantasy characters, when you are deeper skin tone, you want to make sure you're priming your skin properly to make sure the color adheres. And then again, doing multiple layers of the color. Um, one of my best friends one year, she was slightly un Muppet related, but she was the Wicked Witch of the West. And so she did a full green situation. And, you know, we're just right there in the living room, just painting ourselves and like layering it on. But um, it can be a little difficult. It's also a little trippy, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm painting myself to be a pig. Right. So, you know, we're, we're going with it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, so uh, you just have the one, the one snout now, the one that covers your upper lip. That's uh, that's like your main piggy snout. The main 
um, time for another one because by the end of the con day when I'm picky, I'm like ripping it off of my face. I'm like, I'm tired. I can't breathe. I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> so usually I have to do a fresh one every time because by the time I rip it off, it is destroyed. And I'm like, I hear well, you. Yep. it went to good use. It, you know, as a, it's a con sacrifice, but it's okay. I'm actually in the process of trying to see if I can get a custom piggy nose so I really want it to look exactly like piggy mm, so I'm yep. like I feel like that would be chef's kiss it would be the icing on the cake so I'm on the hunt I'm on the hunt so I feel nice. like I also want to start doing some like TikToks and content as piggy so we'll see what happens we'll see All what right. I can you know dig up and see who's doing it yeah we'll keep an eye out for that all right um, but no, I hear you. Like I've done, I've done cosplays before where you you can't really breathe great, and then by the time you get to the end of the day, let alone the end of a weekend, like it's killing you. Right. It's like you're over it. You're having like you're having fun, but like when it's four o'clock, five o'clock rolls around, it's like okay, let's just go home. I want a nap. <laughs> like everybody has seen it already. Like you know, and it's like you know what? I feel like. I get stopped a lot for pictures when I'm piggy, which is understandable because there's this giant pig girl walking around. And it's like you want to keep the energy up because like people are so excited, which is also fun for me to see that so many people are like, oh my God, it's Miss Piggy. This is awesome. So it's like you want to like keep being character still and be like sassy, even though your energy is completely spent. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it, that's the part that makes it all worth it because people recognize it and they're enjoying it and it puts a smile on their face. So that's totally. all fun. <laughs> no, well, completely agree. Uh, so, yeah. uh, all right. So the the hair, I, Pig, Piggy has had many different hairstyles throughout the decades. Yeah. How do you choose? <laughs> how do you choose which hairstyle to go with? I feel like it depends on what outfit of Piggy's I'm going with. Like for the silver gown, I'm like, oh, she needs, like, super classic Hollywood, uh, old Hollywood type of hair um, for pigs in space. I wanted something bouncy, but not quite as dramatic. Um, and then when I did uh, late, the Late Night with Piggy, um, where she was doing from the Muppets, I wanted something that was, like, casual, a little more modern. So it all depends on the Piggy I'm going with so just to kind of cultivate that vibe uh would you ever would you ever consider doing the uh the the frizzy perm from from the 80s that she did it's it's quite a look <laughs> it is a look and I feel like <laughs> that's that's on the horizon because I have I have something I'm trying to put together ah, all that right. I've been trying to do for a long time so it's it's on some some back burner. Some all back right. Burner. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Uh, all right. So for for the costumes themselves, for the the outfits, um, I, let's let's start with like the uh, the red one, the silver one that you've done, things like that. Um, I, I are these just dresses that you own that you feel like yeah. Miss Piggy would also own, and and or have you done any modifying to them to make them more more Piggy? The funny thing is for the silver dress that I think became like my most popular Piggy. That actually was part of a gown that I had made for an event that my good friend Carla made for me and it actually started off short. And so after the event happened, I was like, well, I want to wear this again because it's a fabulous dress. So that's when I did, that's the first year I did Piggy, like 2014, 2014, 2015. And then the next year I was like, well, I'm kind of digging this and I want to really kind of tweak it a little bit. So I had her add this beautiful chiffon fishnet, fishtail at the bottom. So I was like, okay, now we're now we're doing glamour. Now we are doing cosplay because I just want that little extra hint of mm -hmm. things. So yep. yeah, that it started off as, you know, a little cocktail dress I wore at a rockabilly event. So that's how that emerged. And my pigs in space piggy, I actually had this amazing um costumer called Me and the Geek made that for me and that was super fun because I was like let me start moving into other popular piggy iterations so I had that custom made 
um, my late night with Piggy outfit, literally just pieces from my closet, like this blazer, this little leopard um, pencil skirt I had. So it's a little bit of knowing talented people who know how to sew and make me nice things and then just using my own fashion sense to kind of pull some cute stuff together. Yeah, the, the nice it's, thing about... It's a community effort. Oh, completely. Um, yeah, the nice thing about Miss Piggy and, and the things that she's worn, uh, or like over the years, is like it. It doesn't. It almost doesn't matter what it is. It's just, as long as it's like the height of fashion. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, cemented in a time right. or to a production. It's just like, does it look really like really good? Does it look really swank? Like Piggy would wear it. Exactly. It's like, is it fashion? Is it over the top? Does it feel luxurious? <laughs> Piggy's gonna wear it. <laughs> Love it, um, but yeah, but the pigs in space one is the one that like I, I I remember spotting you like across the 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 con floor at uh, at New York Comic Con, and like it's not just that someone put on a pig snout. It's yes. like it's genuinely like you you got a real pigs in space outfit and it looks dope. It was so fun. I I want to say that was the year you were Uncle Traveling Matt. <laughs> it so was. I think you pulled me aside. I was yeah. like yes. <laughs> I couldn't find that picture of my phone. I was so sad. I was oh, like, I've got oh, it somewhere. I'll 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 classic. add it. I'll put it right here. <laughs> here okay. it is. There's the photo for everybody. Perfect. <laughs> Here's the picture. <laughs> but like it was cool. Like wait, stop. But I was like, oh hi. And it was like at that time of the day where I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was like okay. This is awesome. Like that was super fun. <laughs> yeah, a little a little Muppet crossover. Yes. Uh, <laughs> So, um, uh, so there's one other element that every Miss Piggy outfit needs, uh, and that's the gloves. Is, is there is there a secret to of the course, gloves? Of course, like I feel like she's best known for the purple gloves, but I think it also comes into play with what she's wearing as well, and you know, vibe she's going for. But it's always a glove, always a glove, always a little ring attached mm -hmm. to it. Oh yeah, like there so. it is. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so fun. Like I literally like go to Amazon and just order, you know, a little purple glove or depending on what I'm wearing with it. I think I have silver ones for my pigs in space. But no, it's just a nice like opera length glove. So especially if you're not trying to paint too much of your arms or you know, have anything exposed too much, the longer the better for you know, just a little hat. Just to cut some corners as far as cosplay goes. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's no, that's great. I uh, I remember hearing a story about in the '90s, I think, because um, Piggy has always, always had like the lavender gloves, just lavender, no other color. And then in the '90s, I think Frank Oz yeah. said, "You know, we could do something else." She's been doing this for 20 years. Like, yeah, if you guys want to pick a different color, that's fine. And the customers went, right. oh, my God, we can. And then they ran out and they bought, like, all different types of patterns and different colors. <laughs> like, we're going to make so many different gloves for her. It's going to fit yes. every different outfit. <laughs> yeah. Because she's not – she can't be stuck in one way. She can't can just imagine. wear one thing. <laughs> right. And I think that's one of the things we noticed, especially, like, season one Muppet show. Every week she had that same little outfit. And so I think as soon as – they got that okay from Frank to kind of vary it a little bit and mix it up. They went ham. And also you kind of see that within the Muppet movies as well, like really exploring her fashion and kind of teetering the line. Like, so fun fact, my favorite Muppet movie is actually the great Muppet caper. Hands down. Like it is my number one favorite Muppet movie. And her outfits in that even were just so fun and, the fountain scene where she's like walk after she's been walking down the runway in that ba that silver bathing suit, yeah. which again is another inspiration for me, and that's kind of a nod um, that I kind of give with that silver dress. And I just, oh, this this is perfect. Like if I had to only watch one Muppet thing for the rest of my life, it would be the Great Muppet Cape. <laughs> that's great. Good choice. So uh, I know, like, obviously, Miss Piggy is is seems to be the be all end all for you. But if you had to dress as a different Muppet for for one of these cons, who do you think that you would want to cosplay as? 
I feel like I would also want to do maybe like a red Fraggle. Mm, like yeah. That's another one of my favorites. I did enjoy Fraggle Rock a lot. Um, also, if we're going and refer kind of going into other Muppet properties, you, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about Sesame Street. Kind of the gateway drug for many of us. Of course. And yeah. I would probably want to dip into maybe like a gender bend Ernie. Because Ernie yeah. what used to be like my favorite Muppet. <laughs> I love I it. Like that would be kind of fun. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Uh so do you do you other do you do other cosplays aside from Miss Piggy or is is that pretty much it for you? Like outside of the Muppet yeah. world? Hmm. I do. I do actually. Um I do a Satana from DC Comics. That's another one of my favorites to do. Um, I've also done a uh, Sally Jupiter from Watchmen uh, cosplay. Uh, what else? Um, Starfire from DC Comics. Um, oh, I've done a couple of Star Trek Next Generation. I had a cute little dress from that. So that was really fun. I'm, I have a list of things that I do want to finally kind of sit down and move into other old cosplays that I want to tweak. So I mean, we mostly have nothing but time, so I just need to get on. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. I um, well, first of all, you're speaking my language. I love all the, the comic book related uh, cosplays. I've <laughs> I've done a few myself. Uh, <laughs> Traveling Matt is the only Muppet cosplay I've ever done, um, and because like okay. it's hard. Like it's it was just, a good you know, one. <laughs> it's hard. Thank you. Um, but no, I'm I'm definitely like I can't wait. I cannot wait until we can convene again and we can put on silly costumes and get our photos taken and like be in yes. a big room with you know thousands of our fellow nerds. Uh, it's it, 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 it kills me right. a little bit that we we had to skip a year. You know what I mean? It's so weird, especially because I've been going to New York Comic Con since about twenty uh, two thousand nine. Mm-hmm. So I've been going for a long time, and so I'm like wait we're not doing this this year that's what it felt real i'm like it was it was odd but it is for the greater good i just hope that you know everybody keeps doing what they need to do to make sure that we're able to do these things again in a safe manner completely agree so cross the little fingers yes (laughs) well this has been a blast. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this chat. I hope that people out there yes. maybe uh, inspired to start some of their own Muppet cosplays and, and share some photos with us. Um, can you tell us where people can find you on the internet and find some of your amazing cosplay photos? Sure. So I'm mostly on Instagram because I'm a millennial. <laughs> and I'm, my handle is at Brown Paper Dolly. It is B R W N P A P E R. D O L L I. Yeah, I can spell. Uh, <laughs> so I'm mainly there on Instagram. Um, I am venturing into TikTok. I don't have, really have anything interesting there. So mainly find me on the gram. Uh, you'll find me doing pin up and cosplay and makeup stuff. And uh, I'll be starting my YouTube channel soon. So y'all stay tuned for that as Terrific. Well, Susie Dahl, thank you so much again. Um, everyone, please make sure you check her out on Instagram. We'll we'll put in links on the article and on the YouTube page uh, if you have any trouble finding it. And keep on reading Tough Pigs and following us on social media as well for all the best Muppet stuff that you may or may not be able to find on the internet. And uh, we'll see y'all next time for uh, our next conversation with Muppet fans. Bye.